Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel for the official moving vlog. I am filming this vlog Wednesday, Thursday. It's Wednesday currently. Tomorrow is official moving day, like movers come, get furniture, all that kind of stuff. So today is my preliminary moving day. I'm going to be moving small things like our clothes. I hate like boxing up clothes just to unbox it. So I'm just taking over everything on our hangers and just going to hang it in our closet. Plants that I don't want to get crushed in the process and all those small kind of things as well as get the house prepped. I have to put back on all the outlet coverings, take all the tape off from paint, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have you along for some of the prep and small moving today and then the big moving tomorrow. Hi, this is Moving Day Mikkel from the next day, popping in a little bit early because ever since I hit 100,000 subscribers, I've kept forgetting to say this. I was just now doing a little bit of work and looking at my analytics in my YouTube studio and I keep forgetting to remind people that if you're not subscribed to this channel, it would mean so much to me if you wanted to just click that button. I had big goals of trying to hit 175 by the end of this year but with the current growth projection it's not looking like that's gonna be possible and it's totally my fault because I keep forgetting to ask and remind people that if you enjoy my channel if you watch my videos and if you'd like to support me the easiest thing to do and the biggest way to help is just clicking that subscribe button it would mean so much okay I love you I'll get back to this chaos in the second half of this video <laughs> before we head over to the house I am so dang excited because we have a little tiny unboxing. I hope that's okay. Have you guys heard me talk about GU Box? I kid you not. Way before I ever officially worked with the GU Box, I decided that they were, they're in my top four favorite subscription boxes of all time. One of the best. They are sponsoring today's vlog and I am also actually doing a giveaway on my Instagram for them today as well. So if you want to head on over to my Instagram, it's at Mikkel Jancy Smith. I'm doing a giveaway where one of you can get a box for free, but I have not looked inside of this box yet. Do you want to look? We can look together. Okay, let's do it. So GU Box is a clean indie beauty subscription box. They're quarterly, four times a year. You get four to six full-size products, but they are stunning products, like products that you want to have out on your shelf, out on your counter. You want to show them off, that kind of product. They're relatively new, but their their last three boxes sold out. And I'm pulling up my promo code because if you don't win my giveaway, you could still get 10% off with my code Mikkel10 and that works towards an individual box or if you want to subscribe to the whole season you can get the whole season 10% off with Mikkel10 but I cannot wait let's take a look I love them so much Ooh, okay y'all know how much I love branding look at how beautiful like is this not just the prettiest aesthetic ever Jessica the sweet owner wrote me a little handwritten note let's support other women in business y'all I think whenever we can shop small and support especially a woman-owned business. It is so influential to the lives of the people that own the business. Um, and this has all of the information on the spring 2021 box. So we'll read through that as we go. Everything is so pretty. One thing at a time. Let's start with this. This is Nude and Crude Body Cleansing Shower Powder. This retails at $12. Oh, I was gonna open it and look at the inside, but you press here and you pour it out. So this is in a plastic-free container, which is awesome. Pour half a teaspoon into your hand and work into a lather with water. So it's literally like a body wash in powder form. Mm, and it's sweet orange on it. I can smell it through the box. It smells so good. Ooh, pretty. Organic hair oil treatment. This value is at 20 USD. Restore your hair and energy and shine. Balances scalp oil and moisture for soft, healthy hair. Use as a mask or use in the shower. Oh, it smells great. Okay, I don't know what this is yet, but I love this box. What? <gasps> what is this? Oh my. Is this not like what you want on your bathroom counter? This is Iluo? I don't know how to say that correctly. Face mask. This value is at 45 USD. A ritual to calm this multitasking power blend instantly soothes redness and irritation while softening sensitive skin. I love face masks. So it looks like it's a powder mask and you mix with water. Okay guys, I'm gonna be totally transparent here. I get so many subscription boxes that I really try my hardest to hold on to as little as possible. Like I try to give to friends, give to family, donate, do giveaways, but every single thing inside of these boxes I wanna keep for myself. Like I wanna keep all of this so far. <laughs> I don't know if that's me being selfish with these things or if it's a true testament to how much I like actually love everything in here. There's a cute little bag. I don't know what this is. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, I love this! It is a satin scrunchie by Maya, M-A-I-A, and GU Box collab, our very first collab. Sustainably made, created by leftover fabric cut from the creation of garments, so no material goes to waste. Perfect accessory for your hair or arm candy. I am totally gonna be wearing this today as we're moving. If not, in my hair than on my arm because I need hair ties very often. And last but not least, East 29th Vital Serum. Oh my word, guys, this is the hero item. This is valued at 69 USD. This is a high quality product. I'm excited to see it. Oh, it is pretty. This typography, is that not absolutely stunning? Wouldn't it be just such a pretty styling moment to have all these items next to each other on a little tray in your bathroom? <laughs> is that crazy that that's what I think about? But this is a serum designed to deliver high concentration of all natural ingredients directly to your skin, help improve hydration, texture, tone, while also firming, promoting elasticity, soothing, wrinkles. You can use it in the AM or PM. I love it. I am so beyond impressed with every single box I always get from GU Box. I love them so much. Don't forget to head on over to my Instagram if you want to enter the giveaway. If you want to swoop up a whole year or just a season of the box, don't forget to use my code Mikkel10 for 10% off. Thank you to GU Box for being stunning. I adore you with my whole heart. I love the packaging on everything. Ugh, I'm such a packaging nerd. <laughs> Ooh, the best sponsor ever. Side note, I should probably shut up because I know it's a bad vlogging practice to be in the same spot for too long, but I was looking at my list of upcoming sponsors so far for this year and I had this like proud mom moment where every single brand I have on my books is ones that I am genuinely so in love with like Gio Box and it's just a very fulfilling moment to realize that that you're working with brands that you love with your whole heart like and these brands have people behind it that you love and it's just it makes my heart really happy so thank you Gio Box I love you let's go over to the house I'm gonna take all my clothes down get ready Let's go. Just got to the house and opened all the windows to air out some of the paint fumes. But I think I'm gonna start by cleaning up all the tape, all the plastic, maybe putting on some of the electrical outlets, and then I'll start taking in some of the clothes. Let's do it. my second trip with all of the plants feeling good tonight Brooke and I are both going to come and take like mirrors and really fragile things that we are not confident will not break in the moving truck tomorrow and beyond that right now Brooke is at home taking down all of our shelves and patching holes taking down the TV taking down the wallpaper from the mirror here's a little Instagram clip I'm so sad to see that go it's kind of hard to take off but I'm glad it's coming off, but things are looking good for tomorrow. So excited, it's moving day tomorrow. <laughs> it's moving day. I am up right now at 6.30. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of work done before the movers get here, at least just respond to some more important emails. We did realize, here I'm gonna sit on the ground, I'll take you with me. We did just realize that we don't think our new house has coaxial cable inputs yet, meaning we can't get internet there. We can have someone come install it for like a few hundred bucks, but um, we don't know how long that's gonna take. And now I'm like, uh-oh, am I gonna be without internet for a few days? That was, that's gonna suck. But definitely gonna try to respond to some emails while I'm here. At least I finally, I didn't have it for the longest time, but just this year I got a hotspot on my phone. I don't know what changed, why I didn't have it, and now I do. But at least I, can, I can't upload videos on a hotspot, but at least I can respond to emails. But I will show you the chaos of our house here in a minute. <laughs> this is funny. We tried to stack as many boxes as possible in the kitchen and over here to be out of the way. There's also about a 
about this many on the porch and there's about this many in our room. <laughs> so this is, this is probably half of our boxes, but we tried to clear out furniture as much as possible. Max is still sleeping because it's early. Isn't he precious? Look at how precious he is. Also, I decided if today's gonna be chaotic, which it is, I was gonna be comfy. And I think this is my first time wearing the Align tank with the Align leggings. And the Align tank felt a little too cropped for me, but now that it's actually with the same style leggings, they meet perfectly. And oh my gosh, it's so comfy. The Align tank, I think, is for smaller, chested women i don't feel fully comfortable wearing it without a sports bra without a top over it it needs a sports bra but i think i decided that i want some more of these leggings for my birthday these are the leggings i got when i did that video with lululemon last summer i think it was it was one of the greatest collabs of my life but these are i'll link them these are the softest they're not made for high performance they're made for lounging or yoga mostly lounging but they feel like butter and they feel like you're not wearing pants they're amazing um i tr i want to wear them every day so i think i want them in more colors they're just pricey obviously because they're lulu okay enough chit chat this camera battery is already dying and i gotta go respond to some emails i will update you when movers are here okay so movers are about five minutes away here's what everything looks like need to figure out what to do with the pillows but took off the sheets. Everything in here is empty. Closets are empty. We did that yesterday. Um, I just cleaned out some bathroom stuff. We still have a few little storage boxes in here that I'll figure out later. But this is the main chaos, the main event. We went through, oh gosh, maybe 40 boxes. Is that them? That might be them. Oh, I kept driving by. Sound like a big truck. And then porch. Got all that empty, taped off. Have all of our porch furniture, all of our DIY shelves down. It's a lot. We only have two movers coming in. I'm like, should we have got three, four? Cause it's more than I think an average one bedroom cause it's going to fill a three bedroom almost. Okay, movers just got here and our best plan of action with Max is we put him on our patio with a, I cut a, a hole in his chew toy and I filled it with almond butter cause we've done that a couple times before and he freaks out. Like he loves it whenever we do that. That's our plan A. And if he still freaks out, then we're gonna take him over to the new house a little bit early. <sighs> I've never moved with a dog before. I'm like so worried of like, is he gonna be stressed? Is he gonna be anxious? Is he gonna be okay? I'm really, I'm really worried about it. But he's happy as a clam right now with that almond butter, and I'm hoping that's okay. I don't want to. Obviously, we'll be leaving our door open, and I don't want him to dart out. So it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to probably put the camera down for a minute. I'll see if I get any hyperlapse footage and we're gonna start the chaos of moving. All the boxes are out. Furniture is halfway out. We have all this stuff still. Brooke just took Max to the new house because he started getting a little restless and we're making good progress. I had the great idea of, um, I was not useful at all back there. I was kind of in the mover's way and I have a car full of stuff that I could be unloading. And so I told Brooke as soon as he was on the way back from dropping off Max, I would head over so that Max wouldn't have to be alone and I could start working on getting my car cleaned out and then I will also be out of the way. So efficient and now Max doesn't have to be alone at all, which was really stressing me out, the idea of it because I don't know if he knows this is home yet. Obviously, once all of our furniture is in it, I'm sure it'll make more sense to him and he'll be more comfortable, but I'm like, he doesn't know yet. I don't want him to be alone here. So I just got to the house. I'm gonna go unload my car and it's going great. We're not really doing much. We're kind of leaving it to the movers, but I am exhausted already and it's only like 11, 11.30 and Brooke actually is not feeling well. It's just his stomach. We don't know if he ate something. He had leftovers last night, so maybe that was it, but his stomach's been hurting him, which was really bad timing. I don't know where anything's gonna go yet, but I I just sat down the Nespresso in this little corner and wait a minute, a coffee corner? That could be so cute. We have the mugs up here. Also look, I thought about everything of storage. You would think that this cabinet would stop here, right? But nope. It goes so far back, I can't even touch it. So this cabinet extends the whole length of where the cabinets meet in the corner, which is awesome. I'm so out of breath, but like they even thought to do the Lazy Susans on both the corners, everything is thought about. I love this house so much already. I can't believe it's ours. It does get really cold in here though. I don't know if it's very well insulated and I'm a little nervous that the only AC unit is basically in the kitchen, AC heat. I'm thinking worst case scenario, we get a window unit for our bedroom and like one of those like floor, temporary AC units and I can put my dresser in my closet and then where I was gonna put the dresser, here I'll show you, on 
do 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 Look at this good lighting throughout the whole house. It is brighter in here. On this wall, I was gonna do our dresser with the same setup, but I was thinking if it gets really cold in here throughout the majority of the year, I can get one of those cute little like temporary fireplaces that produces real heat. I've always wanted one of those. I don't know how safe they are though. If anybody, if anybody knows or has one that they love, I think it'd be really cozy to have a fireplace in your bedroom too, even if it's fake. <laughs> I turned on the heater, sorry if it's pretty loud, but it is, I don't know, like 70 degrees outside, but like 50 degrees in here, it's cold. But I ordered us some caffeine, just got it dropped off. Uh, I asked Brooke how it's going over there. He said all that's left is they're taking apart the bed and they have to bring down the dining table and that's it. But we're nearing four hours just getting out of the apartment and we're paying basically $100 an hour. So I'm like, oh, this is, it's cheaper if you pay cash. So we got $800 in cash. We were like, that'll be worst case scenario. But now I'm like, did we get enough money? <laughs> this is taking a while, but it takes a long time to go down the elevator every single trip. And this is just gonna be in and out of the front door. So hopefully that should be easier. And I have a question. Every time I drink a cold foam, it shocks me. The first sip, is that normal? I'm afraid of it now. Okay, that's not what I was gonna ask you, <laughs> but I was gonna ask you is every single room has about six outlets. I don't remember if I already said that yesterday, but every single room has one upside down. Look, Brooke's office, one upside down, okay? Just one, just one. My office, where is the one? Oh, is it blocked? This one, back here, behind the mirror, can you see it? One upside down. Bedroom, but the other five are right side up. Bedroom, one upside down. Is, is that on purpose? It feels intentional since every room has six outlets, five right side up, one upside down. Is that like, some things are just easier to plug in upside down, so maybe give each room one upside? I don't know. <laughs> I wanna know if anybody has that same thing in their house. <laughs> Table is in. Um, we decided we're gonna bring in all furniture. Max is kind of freaking out. We have him on his harness tied in here so that he doesn't run out the front door. You're okay, bud. It's just for a minute so you don't get go out to the street. But we decided we're gonna bring all furniture in here and then all boxes in the garage so we don't have to like live amongst the box chaos for the moment. I'm gonna stay with you the whole time. It's just so you don't escape. Brooke is gonna temporarily have my desk until his comes in because my new desk comes in tomorrow. And those are just there. We're probably gonna put them in the garage, but I was like, wait, that looks really good there. But I think Brooke might put a chair there. I have my office rug in and just kind of figuring out the rest as we go. I don't know yet. <laughs> Movers just left. I'll give you a little walkthrough of the furniture and stuff we have so far and what our plans are. We have a lot of furniture coming. So I'll walk you through our plans and oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe this is real. I just can't believe it. Okay. So we have a couch coming from Castlery. So eventually this couch is going to go in my office because it doesn't fit here. But for the meantime, we have half of our couch in here and we have a new coffee table coming as well. And then our console will be centered and the TV will be above, but we didn't want to put it in the center yet because Spectrum is coming to install our cable and our internet and everything. Here's our bedroom. Everything fits better than I expected. I did not know if this was gonna fit here because this room is kind of like not, I guess, narrow, but it fits well, which is great. What do you think? What do you think, bud? I'm showing them where everything is right now. And then our dining table fits great in here. I don't love the way this looks so close to the dining table. I might get rid of it. It's nice to have the extra storage. I would love to know y'all's thoughts down below. I might just do nothing there. I don't know. I really can't decide. I'd love to know y'all's thoughts. My office is the biggest mess. So eventually the couch is going to go here along this wall and my desk is coming tomorrow, which will go here. And then I have a big console coming later. I don't know, in a week or two, that's going to go here. And on this wall, since this will be the background of most of my videos, I got this like big circular wall decal and I'm gonna do our open shelving on this and like display cute things on it. And then last but not least, Brooke's office actually looks great with these bookshelves in here. He doesn't know if he's gonna keep them or if he's just gonna keep a couple. He has, he has rough plans, maybe a couch over here, maybe a TV on this wall. We don't exactly know yet, <laughs> but the plan is tonight we are going to unpack just a couple essentials and then we also have a long list of things we need to get from Home Depot, so we're gonna do that as well. But I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm gonna try to edit this tonight after all the chaos is subdued and I'm actually starting a whole new vlog tomorrow where I'm sure we won't get a lot unpacked today. So I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of unpacking and then we also have have gardeners coming to work on the yard. We have contractor coming to hopefully work on the fence. We have my desk being delivered. We have spectrum coming. It's gonna be a very busy day tomorrow. So I'm just gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. But I wanted to say 
I love you. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Thank you again to GU Box for sponsoring this vlog. Cannot wait to have those cute products in my bathroom once I get my bathroom furniture. <laughs> Don't forget to check them out down below. But I love y'all with my absolute whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day. I love the lighting in this house. Oh, it's gonna be so good for vlogging. <laughs> Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Talking to you, here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in